Good morning, everyone. And uh, before we start, we have a disclosure. Please stop the video and read the disclosure. Let's see what this market have for us today. Uh, there is a new signal uh, as we speak on the DAX. Uh, the entry is uh, 365 and then the target is 377 even. Uh, before we start, uh, we need to explain what we have here. We have a three different uh, automated trading system here. All of them does not require any optimization or tweaking. Here on the first column on the left uh, upper corner, you have the new signals. You have the direction of the new signal. You're very welcome to copy any of those trades as long as it's your own risk. And please follow us on a sim. We're not allowed to call live trades for you. So you'll get to like what we just have seen on the DAX, you get the new signal on the ES, NASDAQ, everything, you get a new signal, direction, target, uh, entry point, target, and then you get the uh, uh, pullback re-entry numbers. As an example, uh, now the target has hit on the ES, and we're about to probably get a new signal. Uh, it was the target for that trade, 15 takes, target hit, and now we are waiting for a long trade. As long as this uh, market was short, uh, we, we take one trade, and now we are waiting on a new signal until we get a new signal, and then we hit uh, uh, the, the long. This way, you can avoid all the chops in the market. Once we have one, once we have a short, and um, we got the signal on the short, so the short is yours. As long as this market now is still in the short mood, we only have a pullback re-entry. That is gonna cut off a lot of bad trades on your behalf, because. In order for now to take long, uh, we need a new signal given us long. And as long as we are going down here, does mean we are on the pullback re-entry mood. Uh, the, the signal was on that side. Uh, this is, is connected to the market analyzer. The market analyzer is giving you straight entry and exit. The chart, if you are auto trading, uh, I personally use ATM. There is a three different kind of automated to trade in with it. Uh, there's an ATM, ATM strategy and fully automated. I personally like to take the trade and then use an ATM strategy. Uh, the reason I like that, that I can be controlling my target if I want to. The system is telling you where is the target. If you are on a fully automated, it tells you where uh, the target and exit and get it out. But for me, uh, I find it is much more advantage for me to let the auto trade take the entry and me managing that trade. Uh, the same story on all of them. So this is a, a very, very um, um, a reliable and a very consistent. And at the same time, uh, we've been going live practically every day, except on Monday for private members only. Uh, we have showed uh, good days, we have showed bad days, we have showed when we are in trouble. So there is nothing what you see, what you get. Uh, the same story here on the uh, on the Forex, you can use that system on future Forex and stock. And then you can feed like as an example right now, the new Forex, we have a, a new signal, it gives you the entry uh, and uh, the, the target. And I think we are missing one line here. Let me see. Okay, we have the safe entry and the target. I need to, to adjust it. There is one line is missing in here. Uh, on this uh, market analyzer, it is the, uh, it's, uh, the scalpers. Uh, what we use, we use the same time frame. Uh, the two options on the time frame is uh, one minute and 150 ticks. This is the only uh, time frame uh, we use is uh, the one minute scalping. 
and 150 takes scalping. So this is what we use uh, on the scalper. And then uh, here on the uh, uh, Ninja controller, what we are doing, we are doing the swing training. And uh, as an example on the swing training right now, we have uh, $900 uh, on a trade. And this is uh, the swing trading right now on the NASDAQ, three minutes. And there we go. We have on that swing trading at the moment, based on two contract, uh, 950. Also, the swing trading does not require any optimization. Uh, the, the swing trading is based. Uh, once uh, the trend is uh, over, uh, the system is automatically uh, closing uh, that trade. And uh, this way, uh, traders should not be uh, struggling with uh, optimization. Uh, um, optima I mean, um, stop loss, trend and stop. Once this trend is over, uh, the system is going to be closing. Uh, that trade automatically. Mainly we use one minute, three minutes, and five minutes. And uh, you can use also uh, ticks if you like to, that is no big deal. But uh, uh, we, uh, if this market moving on the swing trading does not matter uh, what time frame you are using, one minute, three minutes, or you are using uh, uh, five minutes, the reason is uh, if this market moving, uh, there is no one is going to be out trading you, that's for sure. The problem is not there. Uh, the auto trade will never miss a trade. Uh, the problem is uh, when the trader don't know how to read the market and he turn on the any kind of auto trade uh, when the market is a chop. And this is where uh, a lot of traders has failed uh, to read the market when the market is a chop and uh, they should be sitting on the side for a few minutes before they take. This is a one minute actually, and this is 490. Most of the auto traders you've seen out there, it is tweaking auto trade with Renko bar, line breaks, uh, uh, range, no gap, uh, Hakenachi takes, whatever it is. Uh, and uh, the only thing they try to stay away from the one minute because the one minute revealed the true identity of any indicator and auto trade. That's why you don't see uh, that many one minute auto trades, uh, and then they can tweak uh, with the rank of bar and uh, give false uh, results. So we're not in that business right now. So here is a trade on the YM and uh, we will be watching those trades. Whether it's an ES and there is a new signal, we will be covering those as well. Uh, and we, for me, sometimes I get busy. I don't pay attention. Uh, keep your eye on the uh, first column here. This is where you're going to get your new signal. And it tells you exactly where to enter, when to exit, pull back, re-entry. Uh, right now we have a YM trade. If you are on a fully automated trade, uh, the, the, uh, the YM will exit at uh, 66.11 without a doubt. But uh, for me, uh, most of the time we can grab a little bit more or sometimes we don't, depends on the market movement. And now today we will be looking at this one here and uh, we'll keep our eye to see if we can uh, extend a little bit out of that trade. Doing this, uh, uh, the trade, I normally, if I find one or two trade manually, uh, I call it, I don't want to turn this one here to common trades. Uh, and uh, in the same time, um, I'll try to show that when there is sometimes where we have showed many times in the, the previous videos live, that uh, there is sometimes during the session from now to 12 o'clock, you will find uh, the, the market is untradeable. And I usually call it when the market is sideways or the market is going and to dive into chop, uh, we immediately try to warn the traders whether you are an auto trader or not on a manual trader we try to warn you telling you when when uh, there is um, uh, a little sideways in the market or the market diving into chops 
I usually rely on uh, very straightforward. Uh, we have the zone here, and I usually look at this chart uh, to see how this market is reacting. As an example, this earlier today, uh, uh, the, the, the ES was in a, in a really uh, nasty chop. You know, it's got stuck on this channel here between the support and the resistance, and that it is uh, once the market gets uh, stuck in an area, you should not be auto trading it and you should not be trading it at all. So, this is something where uh, most of the uh, amateur trading uh, avoid uh, the, the warning sign and they avoid uh, the signal where it says that you need to be careful with the trading. And this is where uh, mainly they, they fell into a trap. And uh, sometimes it can be avoidable uh, by looking at a clean chart with uh, the zone and see if it's uh, a tra tradable right now. We have a new signal on the Russell, new signal on the Russell, and it is uh, entry 714.4. And the exit is uh, uh, 718.9. So this is how there is a sound for the signals, uh, but uh, I'm a kind of guy uh, open a hundred charts and and uh, all day long uh, hearing the music. Uh, uh, it's, it's not my piece of cake with the sound, but we have a sound on the uh, on the uh, on the signal. Uh, so if you're not paying attention. Uh, it will give you a sound on, on those here. So right now, well, on the YM, and I'll keep my eye on the ES. Uh, the ES right now, we have already have hit the target, and we are coming to very strong area support line, and it is extremely strong. So uh, if you are on the trade, very fine, uh, but if you... Uh, trying to see where I need to exit on that trade, uh, you should be reconsidering uh, taking the ES out. You have two options on those numbers. Uh, the first one is 29.25.25. Uh, take one tick above that. If you are on more than one contract, we need to close the first contract on the 25.25, the second contract on 25 even. So if you are in that trade uh, very well, uh, this is the area where you need to close your ES. But if you are not in that trade right now, uh, I strongly advise you to cool off a little bit. And until we see uh, what's going on uh, with uh, the rest of the market, uh, there is... Um, Okay, let me see here. Uh, we have uh, also the CL, for the CL traders. Yeah, I don't want to cover the signal, so please keep your eye on the signal here. I don't, I'm not the one who's calling the trades for you. You need to follow the signals here. And um, right now on the CL, uh, there is a little pullback, and this is a really good potential on the CL at 72.44 re-entry point. Uh, so this is a really uh, just, wow, the market is really changing. Hold on a little bit on the CL. Let's see what will happen on the CL. There is a really uh, turning around on the CL. Uh, ES, uh, nothing, stay. If you're not on that trade, uh, just to stay a little bit, uh, wait a little bit longer uh, so we can find a good entry on the ES. At the moment, the ES... Uh, as, as we said, uh, the first contract you can exit at 25.25, the second one at 24.75 if you have two contracts. But if you're thinking about taking a short on the ES, you better hold on a little bit longer because your destination, you're getting to this critical area where there is no more short. Uh, we had an entry way up here. We already hit the target. We are coming to the critical area. So uh, your risk if you are going to ignore those signals, uh, your risk about uh, making money on that ES right now uh, is pro probably 0 or 1%. So be careful with that trade right now uh, until we uh, see 
something uh, going on on the, in the market. We have a new signal actually on the CL. I'm gonna be uh, sharing that uh, signal. And um, I didn't see that. We have an entry at uh, on the CL at uh, 72.39, and I will try to bring you the chart in a second. I just need to watch uh, the ES was doing, and then we'll bring you the CL. The CL is uh, uh, the new signal at 72.39. Um, We have a projection at 640, so let's, this is a YM, I'm lost, where is the ES? Okay, here is the ES. I'm sorry guys, I'm a little bit lost with it. Uh, the ES target 25, 25 and uh, 25 even. So uh, we'll, um, so be careful with the short trade on the, uh, on the ES right now. Uh, the YM, we have not hit the target. We will try to hit the target. And uh, NASDAQ, uh, the NASDAQ, we already hit the target. We are waiting on a new signal on the NASDAQ. So I'll keep my eye on all of them. And, uh, and uh, we'll try uh, to, to keep our, it is very hard to keep my eye on all of them. I apologize, sometimes I get confused. But uh, we'll try to keep up with everything here. Yeah. So let's see what will happen with the YM. And uh, we're still waiting on a signal uh, on uh, the ES. A little bit sharp right now, be careful. This where most likely the ES final destination on the ES is uh, 2475. So if you are out there, uh, be careful with that. Uh, we need to make sure that don't go short at the moment, please. Sorry, I didn't mean to cover uh, the, the signal, but uh, Okay, now we, we can see how the ES will have a problem on the 2475, so be careful with the ES. And if we notice on the YM, we missed one tick to the target. We missed one tick to the target, so uh, we'll uh, see how we're gonna approach uh, the uh, the YM in a way. Uh, we're about um, the NASDAQ. Uh, I will uh, keep my eye on the NASDAQ when we have a new signal. And then we'll uh, let you know. A little bit sharp right now, be careful. 
uh, do not take any trades. Uh, we is on 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 uh, on situations like this, wait or let your auto trade take over. Uh, uh, don't take any trades when when you see that uh, confusion. Wait is uh, is about we are about to have a new signal on the Nasdaq, and then it seems like the YM came in exactly almost. We missed one tick on the YM to the target. You know, so that's why if you want to, you can plus one take and cover yourself with it because i think we're fixing the market is changing directions so probably we are fixing to get a new signal be careful with the, your trade it is a very critical area right now on the nasdaq with the true average price and we have those uh, belong to the automated trade uh, those are uh, the trailing stop one and trailing stop two, those are FIPS. They are not a dummy trailing stop. So if this uh, NASDAQ not able to break those area here, then this market is going back to retest those numbers. So right now we are in a very, very uh, key point here, uh, which is going to change the direction of this market. So be careful and uh, try uh, not to take any a manual trade you see how this market came in exactly to the true average price and this market it just jumped and I kicked back so if you notice what I have done to the trade and stop and this one has been um, they're all in a way they are all in a way connected you know so we need to keep our eye whether you are an ES or not an ES trader we need to keep our eye on the ES, what it's going to do. And uh, it seems like uh, NASDAQ want to go back, retest those numbers. And it is exactly what we are talking about, that uh, traders, even especially if you are an automated to trading, uh, you are not seeing that. You are just looking at numbers. And uh, if your auto trade is making money, you're happy. If your auto trade is struggling today, you are very upset. Uh, but... Uh, this is where we trying to magnify where is sometimes a chop market and there is uh, no direction in the market. And this is the worst um, way if a trader do not uh, recognize that uh, there is sometimes you need to sit on the side for a few minutes or that area here is not a tradable. As an example, right now, an ES is not a tradable. And this is a very critical area to trade. I can go further and I can uh, call a, a reversal signal on the ES and uh, all this. But right now, I don't want to do that. So uh, this is where mainly uh, a lot of traders start uh, uh, start making mistakes, you know, and um, uh, so right now on the ES, absolutely, I will not invest one dollar on the ES. I will stay on the side, and then uh, we'll wait on the new signal. Once we get the new signal, uh, then uh, we can start trading again. So I'm keeping my eye on the. Uh, I'm keeping my eye on the NASDAQ as well. And you can keep your eye on the uh, signals here at the first column. If we look, uh, when the Nasdaq came out, uh, it was a troubled at those double resistant. And then what caused the market to drop again. And this is exactly where this market now going back on the YM to the target 6610. And that also has caused the same problem on the ES. Here is the problem right now with the trading. 
you're you're coming into very strong areas and that is going to cause your market to be on the sideway and uh, coming to those area right now you're going to see how this market is going to drive you crazy up and down up and down most of the traders when they see this uh, little trend or this little noises here uh, they're going to get scared they're going to miss that trade and they're going to start jumping on the wagon before you know it you will see this market before your eye start uh, going the other direction so this is exactly where we are expecting this market to land okay to the tick uh, and now that if we notice here they are trying to push this market the es farther down you know and they might make it or my they might not i don't know uh, what we have built on that system here those two yellow lines those two yellow lines once this market hit those two yellow lines like the nasdaq ym and es this is the most it's not overbought oversold indicator i don't believe in overbought uh, oversold but about supply and demand if you notice right now you can see how the es got stuck in here as expected so when those guys trying to jump on the wagon uh, uh, and uh, trying to take the short scared they're gonna miss a trend now is going against them and this is a problem where the traders cannot read that you have to understand when 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 uh, the market is tradable which box uh, the market could be traded and which area the market cannot be traded even if those guys trying to push it down to the second level here there is not much different between 24 and 2350 it's not much enough different for you to go ahead and put $200 a stop loss. And that is where most of the 90% they fell. So uh, even we received a lot of emails that they are in the paying um, uh, rooms and they find out they got more benefits here on our free sharing uh, information on YouTube, we're not collecting any emails, we're not collecting names, we're not collecting money. And uh, we received a lot of emails that we have outperformed many rooms and uh, we have uh, explained things uh, much better than when they were paying $300 a month and $600 a month. So, and this is our pleasure uh, that uh, we have a lot of people are happy with us and uh, thank you very much for all your compliments. So right now, uh, this is where uh, hands off, uh, nothing we can do uh, on those trades. Uh, the, the, YM, uh, the YM is um, um, hit the target and the final destination on the y YM is right there. Uh, uh, 592 uh, this is where uh, the destination on that one and there is nothing more the ES now uh, they are pushing it down is very fine uh, I will not let any auto trade take shorts anymore and I will not take any trades in here as a matter of fact now when everybody trying to go short on on the, on the, an ES I'm starting to look for reversal on the ES and uh, when everybody going short in this area, now I'm gonna start looking to find long because everybody look at this, look at the ES, look at the ES, how it is failing to cross those areas. If you don't have those knowledge, you will never be able to trade the market. If you don't, uh, you don't understand uh, the false movement in the market, when to trade when, to hold your breaks and take your hands off the trading. If you don't have knowledge on that, uh, that you will never, never gonna be able to make it in the trading. It is it comes after years of experience and in auto trade, if this market moving, 
it is your lucky day. If the market not moving, there is nothing you can do. You are like anybody else uh, having a problem that day. So uh, there is no other third option in here. And uh, doing all those years, we we try to put common sense that even if you are auto trading, uh, if uh, we are providing a little more information than an auto trade, so it will be much better for you to learn a little bit uh, before, uh, especially if it's not costing you any money. I don't see what is the big deal about uh, learning a little bit more and um, and uh, try to be a little bit more educated what's going on in the market. So right now, uh, there is nothing can be done on the ES as expected and uh, hands off. And this is what is uh, the different between, uh, this is the different when you are auto trading, a normal auto trade. When the market is trending, you are making money. When the market is not trending, welcome to trade it. Nothing I can do for me to move this market for you. There is nothing I can do. This kind of auto trades, any kind of auto trades out there, they keep taking a trade left and right, up and down, until they achieve their target. Whether, or let's say, if you are on a five hundred or a thousand dollar daily target, uh, or a thousand dollar losses or winning, uh, the auto trade keep trading until he hits this thousand dollar plus or minus. Like uh, if we take the DAX, this is my chart I use every morning on the DAX. This is my daily DAX today. It was chop. Normally on the swing trading, one or two trade, I'm done. This is my one minute, and you can see uh, today took one, two, three, four trades in order for it to achieve the target. So uh, it's taking short and long until we accomplish uh, the, the target. This is where 99.9% uh, all the auto trades from us or somebody else work this way. On that one here, what you are happening in this one here, when we had to, took the short trade and we nailed that trade, if we look at this market analyzer, we're still on that trade. We hit the target and we are done. Now we are sitting on the side on the ES and what will happen folks, we have avoided all this chop market. Because the auto trade is not going to take a new trade until we are over with the short trade and now it is confirmed is long. Then we have a new signal telling us right now long. So in that approach, we are uh, uh, we are disconnecting a lot of its shop areas where most of the traders fell to read the chop areas and that it is really amazing uh, some traders uh, uh, cannot see that so it is very important to uh, to understand where those boxes can be tradable and when those boxes those areas are not tradable and that's what uh, mainly uh, we are doing in here uh, we are trying to open your eyes to a new things and uh, try to um, uh, recognize when there is a problem in the market then it can be if it can be avoided that is gonna save you a little disaster uh, on your account you know so uh, I'm gonna stay a little bit quiet here and uh, trying to see uh, if I see any new signal I'll be more than glad to share it with you
We're still on a standby, folks, and uh, there is nothing right now. It's going back and forth in the same area. The ES is also the same, NASDAQ. Uh, the same area we predicted. Look at this. The ES tried to go back and uh, jump in, and it didn't work. Uh, then now the ES is going to try to see if we test the new numbers. And uh, it's right on the spot. 2924. Uh, the same thing with the NASDAQ is going uh, back and forth. So we, in a way, we are stuck right now in the market. And you should not be, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you should not be auto trading or manual trading. You need to be on hold. If you are in a trade, that's great. But you cannot right now come in and jump on a trade. I don't see any trades on the NASDAQ. I don't see any trades on the ES. Uh, the market is really sideways. And uh, there is no way uh, you are able to make money at the moment. Uh, stay on the side till we get the new signal. This way you play it safe, folks. Uh, the auto trades are doing their jobs. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, uh, sometimes those those area here can cause a problem with your auto trades and you just start giving up all your uh, profit or whatever you accomplish for today so uh, it's always uh, really advisable to to keep your eye on the market while you're auto trading if you can i mean you don't have to glue to the market to the screen but uh, i mean you have to recognize when there is a problem and and um, you know, to just keep your eye on it, see what's going on and the bar moves, movement. And that uh, can, um, right now, look, the ES, they're trying, you see this one here, those blinking, they're trying to sell on the ES, a lot of sell orders coming on the ES. And they're having a hard time penetrating this uh, 2924. That is gonna cause sideways in the market if they're not even if they broke that area they're gonna struggle one more time at the 2375 so it's not tradable it's not so what we need we need to get out of this uh, area here before we can even look at this market and start taking a new trade the same story in the nasdaq the nasdaq want to push it down Sellers, very fine. Final destination is not going to be anywhere than this area here. So we will see. But should I take a trade here? No. Your chances, even if this market go all the way down to the 55 level, and even if your ES going to go down to the 22 level, this is not an area uh, you have... Uh, a lot of advantage to to make money in those area here uh, it will be your chances making those trades is two out of ten it's not eight out of ten it's two so your high risk you are putting yourself in much higher risk and uh, if you can save yourself one bad trade that's two hundred dollars a day folks that's fifty thousand dollars a year do not underestimate uh, so it's not worth it to invest two hundred dollar on uh, or a hundred fifty dollars in that matter on a trade. The probability you're gonna lose on it. I say it the way it is. Nobody say it the way I say it, and I say it the way it is because it's about time somebody come out and say it the way it is. Rules, there is no rules. In this business, there is no rules. Today we have a rules, tomorrow is not gonna apply for it. You read a book, it might work today, tomorrow is not gonna work. And uh, all those you see in that uh, they tell you if they're trying to sell something on the net, teach you how to trade. The only time you're gonna learn how to trade when you trade. And that's, that's the end of the story.
you need to develop your own trading st style. And then with a little help from somebody, open your eyes to what's going on in the market so you can look at it the same way as this person looking at it. That's it. Nothing we can do. Right now, we we still on the a lot of short on the, uh, the swing trading here from the market analyzer. We still have a lot of shorts on the NASDAQ ES and YM. Let's look at them. Uh, we still have a short on uh, the NASDAQ. Uh, this is the three minutes, and this is the one minute. We have a lot, a lot of chop market actually. On the ES, we have the three minutes, still in the short, and uh, also the five minutes. Still in the short. So on that trade, uh, there is uh, 475. They're almost, uh, this is a five minutes and this is a three minutes. It's the same story. And this is the NASDAQ three minutes, 1000 on that trade. And then there is uh, uh, the one minute, 350 on that trade. And yeah, this is it. Let me go back on the ES story and the NASDAQ. That's why we told you not to trade it. Look at this. There is nothing. This is where, sadly, if you are auto trading, uh, this is where you will be losing money. Doesn't matter if you are auto trading from us or somebody else, but this is where you start diving into pile of mud here. And this is where uh, the market is holding on the 2450 as expected from the beginning of this webinar. And uh, the only time now is a tradable once we are, when once we can get out of that area. Here is the worst kind. If we're gonna go a little bit farther on the ES, it's still not tradable short. Actually, uh, it has to be long and I'm waiting because we use uh, the Renko bar for reversal. And we never trade the Renko bar with the uh, trend. This is a disaster if you wanna trade the Renko bar with the trend, any Renko bar. As we see here, we had a perfect reversal out of the band. It is a perfect reversal, but right now we do not have a reversal on the ES. And it's very simple. We have a very strong hold on the 23.25. And it's right there. So, the only time we can reverse this uh, ES for long, if this ES is able to break that area here, 
and the drop on the first target. So this is one option. We can take a reversal and carry that EIS from the bottom all the way to the top. This is where I have covered uh, many a uh, couple of weeks ago how to trade reversals because they are extremely profitable. You know, first of all, you get out of those chop in the middle and how we nail it, it and it's on the YouTube. We have covered how to trade reversals. And there is a, a lot of uh, money in the reversal, a little practice, but there is a lot of money in the reversal if you know how to reverse this market. So right now, if we are looking at this EAS, it is one chop area here that if you are auto trading, especially those guys auto trade, no matter where this auto trade coming from, you're gonna be struggling. And the only time we can reverse this market is from those area here. And uh, we, I'll keep my eye on it as well for you. And I will be uh, calling it for you if I see uh, anything worse to chew on. It is a bit, um, we are sitting on the side and if we look on the NASDAQ, it's the same problem right now. So this is where, uh, sadly, not a lot of traders recognize that. And this is where 95% of amateur trading, they start losing money in those areas here. So, if you like to scalp the market, you can follow the scalpers and follow the market. If you wanted to have a, a couple takes here and there, at the moment, you can scalp the market. And uh, as an example right now, YM have a long, ES has a long, so when there is a new, so when you see it's minus 10, that's mean it is uh, two takes from, or uh, minus 10, that's mean there is two takes from uh, the entry point. You're very welcome to follow it. Uh, or if you see short, you can trade short. Uh, but uh, you can follow those signals as well when they first come out. Or if you wanted to stay on the safe, uh, you can uh, follow the new signals from the first column here on the left upper corner, as long as it's, it's at your own risk, you know. So uh, we have no signal whatsoever. So uh, we are waiting on a new signal and uh, would love to share everything we have with you. Wait in time. Nothing we can do, just wait. Once we, you get to know the system, and once you start looking at it for a couple of weeks, once you see the system start hitting the target with those fibs, and right now, there is no long, you know, there is only short pullback, re-entry short. Once you hit the target, that is gonna cut off your bad trades to 75%. So this is a really key turning for a guy emotionally cannot or not experienced enough to trade by just taking his time and learn those lines and follow those lines. You don't need to do anything. Once you have the new signal, you can use the auto trade or an ATM or fully automated. You start around 9.30 waiting on a new signal once we catch this signal, you stay with it until we hit the target. By 12 o'clock, you should be done. 
and you don't have to think where you need to enter and where you need to exit. And then during those time, you can learn where is the pool back re-entry. We've been covering that a lot. And we can give you a little bit more advanced trading. But the things here is, desi is designed not to put you in a room for one year and train you. What it is, it takes you a couple of weeks to learn it. And then you can start uh, making decision uh, on those trades. It seems like we're about to have a new signals on. The CL. Let me see. There is nothing, guys, I can call any trade for you right now. Uh, for an ESCL, uh, YM, NASDAQ, is a, the, the, risk, the risk is very high. I don't want to interfere with it. Uh, I only like to, I only like to call the safe trade. And you see, you see the YM, it did go down and, and the CL is still the same, same place. You see? The ES is still in the same place. And now we hit the target again on the YM. Now finally we hit the target on the YM. The ES didn't budge. That telling us those a few ticks, that's why I am made it, it's nothing. It's just a few ticks, bubbles, and nothing. And now look, the party is over on the YM. We hit the target. We were missing a couple ticks in here. You see? Now we are we hit the target, we went down a few ticks more. And uh, the NASDAQ and down zones did not react. The ES and the NASDAQ did not react with that YM movement. So this white YM movement is nothing but bubbles. There is nothing in it. So when this uh, movement came in onto the YM, probably somebody out there got scared he's going to miss a trend. He jumped on the wagon and it's over. This is this is here. You cannot trade anymore. It's over. If you are in that trade, very you are a very happy camper. But here you cannot take your trades anymore. It's finished. And uh, ES and the Nasdaq are not responding. They are not reacting to the YM movement. Bubbles. Look, nothing. You should never get excited with the market if you see all of a sudden there is a couple bars or three bars movement. Don't let it uh, make you dance with a couple bars. Just pull back a little bit, be a little bit the German with it, you know. You know, say this is not my game here, it's over. Don't let it lower you to trade, uh, keep it very straightforward, German type, cold, don't, don't budge with it, then you, you can be, uh, you can get a lot of success with it. Disciplined, uh, uh, disciplined is number one in the trading. Disciplined. That's why you find a lot of German success traders. They are trained to be disciplined. Serious traders. And we have a lot of good traders in USA. They learned the hard way to be disciplined. So we should never use motions in the trading.
breads are good. Breads are very good. Holland. Now again, the NASDAQ is going back. You see this area here? It's retesting the same numbers. This is the true average price. In order now for this NASDAQ to get up and give us a new signal, has to go through this uh, true average price. It, it did uh, earlier today and it fell. Now we have this uh, 75, 78. This is a very key to the market. This is a key on the NASDAQ right now. And you see most of the time that key hold. And uh, if we are breaking those numbers, now we got a new key right there. Now the NASDAQ has also another milestone here in order for us to get the long signal. As long as this market below those numbers, below those lines, you should never take long because everybody's still thinking in this attitude, we are short. So the pullback re-entry has been around for many years and it is the most success trade, is identify trend short or long pullback re-entry. It's been around for over since the I mean for over 25 years and it never ran out. As long as those levels below what we have drawn on the chart for you, you should never take long. You should be always thinking short on the pullback re-entry until we break a certain area, then we identify now we are on a long mood. Now this this attitude on the NASDAQ and, and, and ES right now, short. When the market goes up to those level, then this is a re-entry uh, on the short, but we are in a short mood, there is no long. So this is where uh, probably you get confused. If we notice after we hit the target, the party is over on the YM and you should be closing those trades as long as this YM is still in those bucks here, we are on a short mood. There is no long. So all the sideways right now, all the chops, we stayed out of it. If we look at the one minute, now we've been in this for what, 30 minutes? And if we notice, nothing but a chop on the NASDAQ. Nothing but a chop. Can you imagine how many traders lost money in those area here? And we have predicted. It is very hard to predict the chop market. And we have predicted today. And here's the same story uh, on the, it's hard to predict it, not after the fact. It's hard to predict it before it happened. Anyone can see what happened right now, but when we, Half an hour, we saw this market getting stuck. We set all uh, our hands off the trading because this is a really a chop area where you should not be trading. So this is for those guys that wanted to auto trade. If this market or you come in and you try to any auto trade folks, we're not covering just our auto trade. And believe me or not, I'm the last one I need to protect somebody else auto trade. It's not my intention at all. But I'm uh, going to the trader is relying on an auto trade. If you started your auto trade here, you're not going to be making money, whether it's our auto trade or somebody else. Some of the auto trades, they're going to blow your account and they are a disaster. Some of them are good. This is not the area. The, the problem is with those guys with the auto trades, they only look at numbers. They don't see this. They see the auto trade made money or not. That's it. So on those area here, whether you are auto trading or you are a manual trading, 
uh, you're not going to be making money in this area. As simple as that. As simple as that. Uh, yesterday for the uh, our uh, uh, for our uh, members, we we covered uh, the five minutes scalpers. And uh, this is already a hit the target on the CL with two trades on the scalper. And uh, we already, I think we hit the DAX on the scalper, the five minutes, the ones we covered yesterday in the room. So those two are doing extremely well, the CL and the DAX. Uh, on the five minutes scalping. Signal on the 6E, a new signal on the 6E, entry uh, 8540, uh, target 8405, and it is short entry, and this is the 6E right now.
if you notice, uh, no matter what we are doing, the NASDAQ is keep going back and dropping. There is no long. If you look at the ES, it start getting tighter and it start getting, it's practically not moving anymore. It's dying on us, the ES. So here it is. How are you going to make money in here? There you cannot make money. You cannot make money. Where the ticks coming from? You cannot. Where the ticks coming from? There is no ticks to get out. So this is why we are sitting on the side and waiting on a new signal. Nothing. Absolutely. The market is not on the ES, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones. At the moment, there is no trade. We need to find a new area to trade. Those areas are not tradable, and we need to find a new area to trade. So we will be watching the new signals, and uh, uh, we need to see the NASDAQ and uh, uh, YM uh, getting out of those bad areas, the zone, and in order for us to, to trade. Right now, if you wanted to take a trade, uh, the only thing you can do, you can follow the scalpers for a couple of trades here and there, a few takes, uh, or take a coin out of your pocket and flip it because there is no direction. It is exactly, folks, like a bus going down the hill with a drunk man, no steering wheel, and no brakes. Uh, nobody can predict that market anymore now. No one. Now you are just shooting in the air and uh, you flip the coin. This is your best offer uh, to, to take uh, trade because it's not tradable. And even when I see short, it is a high risk short. I cannot trade those. Those areas are not belong to us. Uh, the short trade on, on that one here is not for us. It's not belong to you. Uh, our area is not here. So this is where, believe me or not, a lot of traders are going to fell into this trap. And today it will be some traders losing money. So for you not to trade today does not mean you did not make money. You just saved yourself losing money. And I prefer to stay on the side saying, I didn't lose money than to jump in into this mess and then uh, lose money. So by not trading right now, you're just keeping your money in your pocket. It is your best option until we get a new signal, folks, until we get a new signal. I'm staying quiet. There is nothing to do until we get a new signal, folks. I'll go ahead and uh, get a fresh coffee and see what we can do. Uh, if uh, somebody wanted, let me see, the 2750, I'm not happy about it. Um, no, I'm not going to call that trade on the ES. It's too tight. Some of you are not light-handed, so I'm not going to mess with it. We'll wait on the new signal. It is our best option. Okay.
uh, a new signal, a new signal right now on the YM long, uh, 66 level, new signal. Good, I caught it on time. I was looking at, uh, so this is a new signal we have. Uh, target uh, 641. And also we are about to have a new signal on the ES and uh, the NASDAQ. They're all coming right now. So keep your eye on it, please. The NASDAQ is a very genuine entry. Uh, sorry, the YM. 66 level is very good. And now we're about to have a, a new signal on the NASDAQ. Keep your eye on it, please. For the ones who don't know where to look for the new signal, it will be here on the first column. This is a very nice lift off on the uh, NASDAQ, uh, on the YM. We always try to make sure that you get one or two trades every day. We should have a new signal very soon on the ES and NASDAQ. Any second we should have now a new uh, signal 
и АС NASDAQ. What a day. It's a very slow. We are waiting, still waiting on the signal, guys, on the NASDAQ ES. You got to get ready for it. It's coming any second right now. Uh, the CL, uh, Tony, uh, it is... Because you don't have the chart, Tony, but uh, the CL did exactly what the CL has to do. If uh, you're looking at the CL, here is your sell entry. Missed the target by a few takes, pulled back exactly to the entry signal and the reverse. So the CL did exactly what's supposed to, Tony. And now we are uh, uh, sitting here with the projection at 72.20. So it did exactly what's supposed to. And uh, uh, so the CL is right now 16 takes from the cell entry. And uh, there is a good potential to get the 71.99, my friend. And even farther than that can be almost to 7181. So the CL is in the clear. 
And now we are waiting on a new trade on the NASDAQ and an ES. We are waiting on a new signal uh, coming out uh, any second. This market is driving us crazy. We're waiting on uh, the NASDAQ is not moving and the ES is not moving. We are waiting on a few takes more to get the signals and we are patiently waiting on those trades. So there is nothing we can do. I really would like to see the NASDAQ a new signal and um, ES a new signal, which are about to come any second. We're about to have it guys. Be careful. The whole market now start taking off. Uh, we should have a new signal any second right now. There we go. We're gonna take it a little bit higher on this one. And we're waiting for the new signal. The market is changing. You can see a new signal on the ES right now at uh, 96.75. Oh boy, there is a lot of mess on the ES. There is a lot of mess. And we're about to have a new signal on the NASDAQ. Oh, can you see where the target is in the, we'll see what will happen. So uh, 2675 is your entry on the uh, ES. And uh, we are waiting on the NASDAQ actually. What a day. We have a long trade for 12.30 on the NASDAQ, where is that?
We still waited on the NASDAQ. There is no entry on the NASDAQ. Uh, did we get an entry? Uh, no. Uh, yes, we did. Uh, uh, it is uh, entry price uh, 585.25, target uh, 604. So we have an entry on the NASDAQ as well. And that's good. Nobody is uh, going home empty handed. Uh, we have a new signal on the Russell uh, entry 716.1, target is uh, 1720.2. So this is really good. Here we go. Uh, the target on the YM is 66.40. That will give you 40 ticks. And if you want to jake it up a little bit, you can do that by putting it at uh, 663. Uh, the problem is with the... The problem is with the ES, I'm concerned about the ES we have a little problem at the 3075 and 3025. So you should not be very picky with the trade on, um, on the ES trade. You have to be careful with the ES trade. And um, there is a little bumper on the way. NASDAQ. Um, You know, at least we were patient enough to get the new signal. Can you imagine when the market was sideways and sitting on the side, how many traders they got in into those trouble and lost money, you know? So this is, uh, we stayed out of trouble. That's, uh, that's the main thing. We did not jump into uh, bad trades. But uh, it is a hard day today. Uh, if you were sitting by yourself, probably you would have got or dive into those chop market and you, were, you would have really got some damage to your account today. So, uh, Tony, take your hands off the uh, CL. Uh, now we are diving in, Tony, in this uh, chop market. Stay away from it. F stay away from the CL at the moment. We're about to have a new signal on the CL. Oh. Okay, we are hitting. We are hitting almost the target on the YM, and um, it's the same story. Uh, on the ES, you have to be light-handed, guys. The first bumper is 29.25. YM is going head directly to uh, 66.40. That will give you uh, 40 ticks on that trade. Um, I'll let you know, Tony, when the CL have a new signal, we'll let you know.
but it is a very hard day to trade today. Actually, it is. Um, I'm sure some some of you, if you were trading by yourself today, you would have got in a lot of trouble. It's like the market stop and we only have four ticks on the ES, six ticks on the NASDAQ and the YM23 ticks. Extremely slow, but we are going in the right direction. The problem is because the NASDAQ is not moving forward and I'll show you why uh, the NASDAQ is not, is making the ES and the YM on hold. Uh, after we get the buy entry signal on the NASDAQ, if we notice here that there is a resistance followed by another heavy resistance and that it was not strong enough to break all those area which made the nasdaq go back a little bit and you can read it immediately on those uh, the es and uh, now we we got caught between a support and a resistance on this nasdaq so we need to really break out for those to fly and that is going to take some time and I hope uh, that NASDAQ is going to stay on that area here. It's not going to break all the way down to here. Because then we are looking for another chop. Uh, and that is going to cause a lot of damage on the ES and the YM. So I'm hoping that this area is going to hold. Otherwise, we are going to dive into a lot of problems from now to 12 o'clock. So now we are at this critical point to make sure that this NASDAQ is not going to go any farther down then the whole uh, uh, things is going to be, if this area is not going to hold, then the re-entry point is 76 level, 76.25.
So that's why we are hoping that uh, area here is stay on that level, the NASDAQ. If it does, and trying to go back to retest, that is going to make, you can see immediately your uh, ES and your YM start climbing to those target. So now the eye on the NASDAQ, you know, if you are a YM trader or a NASDAQ trader or an ES trader, you cannot uh, avoid one chart. You have to look at all three. Somehow they are connected, you know, even when some, sometimes one chart is a bit off, but the ES have a, a role and the NASDAQ, you know, have a role as well. So you got to keep your eye on all of them in order for you. If you want to trade the NASDAQ, you have to look at the ESYM. If you are trading the ES, you have to keep your eye on the NASDAQ and the YM. If you want to trade the YM, you have to keep your eye on the NASDAQ and ES. There is no way out. Excuse me. So there is no way out, uh, guys. Those, they work in sequence. And now if you see, you see how the NASDAQ start, and that is going to have direct impact on your ES trade right now, you know. So now we can predict there is some breakout is going to come on this impact if this NASDAQ keep uh, going up to those areas. Let's see, uh, which is going to be, and that is going to make your ES before you see it flying right in front of your eye. So this is, you got to keep your eye on those three instruments so you can understand what's going on, especially the ES if it's coming to hard area. Even if the NASDAQ that day is not really following the ES, but it stays on a certain level until this ES breaks some major areas. So this is uh, is gonna see in advance ahead of time how the impact is going to be on the YM and the ES as well, you know. So they all connected somehow, you know, either or either way, they are all connected. So. We're keeping our eye. This is a good news on the NASDAQ. I mean, for a, for a day like today is a hell. But as long as this NASDAQ is holding with those areas here, 83.50, we are okay. As long as this NASDAQ don't drop on the re-entry point, the 78 level. So this is very important uh, to, to stay above those areas on the NASDAQ. And then we will... Um, then we can uh, hit the target safely. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to stay quiet. It's been a, a really rough, um, slow day, boring day, actually. But uh, we're going to, I'm going to stay with you on those straight until I uh, make sure that uh, you're home safe with it. And uh, I'm going to stay quiet to see how how the NASDAQ uh, going to hold on those levels.
new signal on a 30-year treasury bond entry price 139.25 uh, sale order and then uh, target 139 it's not much really but uh, this is the new signal on the 30-year treasury bond and it seems like this market is gonna drive us crazy today we still waiting but uh, there is uh, a new signal on the 30-year treasury bond for those guys they want to trade the bonds really slow day nothing we can do Until we see that NASDAQ breaking those area. There we go. We are broken this area now. There we go. The whole story has changed. Come on, move. Okay, now on the NASDAQ base on one contract. Uh, we have ES $25, $100 NASDAQ, $75, $70 base on one contract. And still this market is not moving. I mean, the target is way up here at uh, 0450. And uh, we still have one more bumper at uh, 93.75. And then home free to 604.50. So let's see how the YM and the ES gonna respond to this first breakout. And we still have one more breakout is the 93.50. Uh, we'll see. Target hit, uh, guys, on the CL target hit at 71.91. And uh, now it's about to reverse. So let me see if I can find anything on the CL. With the CL trade. And now there is a lot of buyers coming in on those two trades. Uh, the YM and the ES. Oh, too late to call that trade on the CL. Okay, fine. Uh, the CL trade was uh, all the way down to 71.90. It's too late to call. So, 
we're not gonna deal with it. Okay, guys, uh, there is not much to do. I'm going to be called it off for today. And uh, I want to say thank you very much uh, for today. And uh, we will uh, uh, see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock uh, East, Eastern time, the same channel. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, be careful today uh, with uh, all those trades. And uh, let me see. If we're going to have some movement the next five minutes. It's really boring. The market not moving. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Bye for now.